Hello everyone. Welcome to a game between Blade versus Happy. Happy spawning as the red undead on the top right hand side of the map. While Blade um, on the bottom left hand side of the map. Well, a undead should never lose in an un how about in an undead mirror match? What, what should happen then? Let's go ahead and come on through here. Blade opening up with Altar of Kings and a Barracks. Pretty standard opening coming across here. Happy coin over here to the top right. Going to be setting up a Necropolis. There's the Crypt. There's the Altar of Darkness. And, well, things are getting underway. What is going to be going down here is the Blade going to perhaps be opening up with a strange opening. Or is he going to stick with the traditional Archmage? Just join forces. <laughs> power overwhelming all right so what is gonna be going down here in just a second altar of kings will be completed what is the hero of choice it will be an archmage archmage or arc mage depending on whether or not you believe in warcraft 3 world of warcraft lore um versus warcraft 3 lore um I, I don't know. I, I personally have a little bit more disdain for World of Warcraft now. Now that um, I learned it, tr what players were trying to have, uh, or Blizzard was trying to have Warcraft Three tie into World of Warcraft a bit more, and that's why they made Warcraft Three Reforged. It was targeted towards, um, well, prettier graphics, and and trying to get the storyline proper and correct originally and well it kind of just ended up becoming um directionless hello hamida yes i am streaming at a different time q8 venom thank you for the cheer every little bit does definitely help um i don't know why i have a little rest in peace right there or um but yes i i am here and well thank you for the bits um, coming back through, uh, Footman, Militia, now going after that Forest Troll Berserker. Forest Troll Berserker going to get taken down, was chasing after some sort of creep and, and was unable to really break free from there. And while it was chasing, wasn't doing any damage. Meanwhile, well, there's one Forest Troll Trapper going to be well, retreating all the way back. It will get taken down pretty easily. Archmage will get a little bit more experience. Meanwhile, Death Knight looking to finish off the remainder of this creep, creep camp as well. Cheering for Undead. Um, well, yeah, I, I often, I, I, I heard, right, like, um, people should be able to cheer to say which race, which race is the best race, and, like, you could have, like, different emoji cons, and you could, and, you know, cheer for your race and to see which race would win. Um, even then, I, I feel like Undead might win just because uh, Undead, well, as a human player, it feels like Undead always wins. Archmage now chasing after this Acolyte here. Acolyte now retreating back once more. Death Knight now coming back in from the north with four skeletal minions. Archmage going to turn back around. Death Knight sitting at 19 over 20 supply with all of those summoned units. Really perhaps trying to try and put a little bit more pressure on the Archmage and the Footman here. While, um, well, especially getting up another Ziggurat here to try and train up more units. Archmage of Blade is not setting up an expansion, interestingly enough. And now Happy has this opportunity to try and punish this um, aggressive creeping. But with that many footmen and that many, many militia, the Death Knight all can safely do is try and Death Coil steal some things here. All right, Death Knight now down to 46 hit points. Is the Archmage going to be able to catch up? Death Knight down to 50 hit points, able to get away freely once more. Archmage, what it's going to do here would be interesting if the Archmage hang, hung around right here and then was able to catch the Death Knight, right? If like, the Footman came around the corner and the Archmage was here, gaining line of sight to try and put pressure onto the Death Knight as the Death Knight escapes at 60 hit points. All right. In a micro-intensive game such as Warcraft 3, um, well, surrounds... And just paying attention to the, the small things going on in the matchup makes such a big difference. Blade, sitting at 36 supply, Happy, sitting at 25, should be getting up a, an additional hero here in just a second. Where is he spending all of his gold? Not quite sure where, but does have Claws of Attack plus 5. We are looking at an expansion attempt coming in from Blade. Archmage ventures out forward to try and put pressure onto his opponent's base, making sure that the Death Knight takes a little bit of damage and is unable to really break free or break out. 
blade. Is he going to catch it? The, catch the undead here? No, he is not. Leaves behind a water elemental, and that water elemental is just a, essentially a sentry ward that can attack back, but is currently and easily visible. A player's forces are under attack. Expansion of blade. And getting constructed here. Archmage making its way back down to the south. Water Elemental spots the undead army, making sure that, well, Blade knows that he can freely creep at least one nearby creep camp if he chooses to. But going a little bit too far will just bring the undead army on top of him. Happy looking to gain a little bit of control on the map. Up match here on this map here. Arcane Vault now being constructed. Footman, do they have the Fen? Archmage trying to throw and put damage down onto that water or onto that Death Knight as the Water Elementals a little bit of defending too. Death Coil going to finish off a of footman. No, Fitman able to stay alive, but the web um, or the little what the little beetle attacks from those crypt fiends able to finish off one footman and leave one in critical condition as he looks to retreat back. Coming back off to the north here, Death Knight looking to continue to fight, getting in more damage across all of these crypt fiends here, turning around temporarily to gain a little bit of damage as the Death Knight with Unholy Aura able to keep with these crypt fiends as these crypt fiends look to retreat back home. Coming on through here, Archmage sitting at level 2, um, Arcane Vault nearly constructed, um, Town Hall upgrading to a keep, Happy does already have a Lich out onto the battlefield as well, as, and is also teching to tier 3. Black Citadel should be coming online momentarily. Meanwhile, the Death Knight, is it going to try and get to level 3? It may try and do exactly that, but leaving behind a 3-2-2 creep camp in the Nightcrawler and these Forest Troll Trappers. Archmage all brought on through, trying to put pressure onto the Death Knight and those Crypt Fiends units, able to retreat back. Blade still sitting on about an 8 supply advantage and about a 700 gold advantage so far. 21 supply compared to 31 happy with the much larger army but then again all six of that supply is currently harvesting lumber so well you can't quite count that as the entire um undead army here ogre magi looking to beat down some of these units here skeletal minions could get taken down pretty easily as the well warrior is going to get taken down there's a big frost nova the lich picks or sorry the death knight picks up the mantle of intelligence is it given to the lich yes it was or nope i take it back um, but not given to the Lich as the Farce here, not going to be forced to retreat back. Death Knight already sitting at 2.9, very nearly at 3, as the units are trying to retreat back again and again. 42 supply compared to 47 blade, however, sitting on, well, was 1,200 gold, finally gets into the cusp of um, low upkeep with 700 gold ready to perhaps pick and choose his next fight. Mountain King getting resurrected. We are going into a blacksmith and an arcane sanctum. Spellbreakers, our priest, should be what's in store for us. Meanwhile, riflemen, footmen, getting over and getting ready to engage. Mountain King now out here on the battlefield. Are they going to try and engage as well? That is the question. Lich getting in some damage. Ooh, wow, that archmage was down to about four hit points before he popped that scroll of town portal and was able to head back home. Mountain King shows up to the party. Well, attempting to take down or punish Happy at this point in stage. There's a Stormbolt onto the Dire Frostwolf. These other, um, yeah, the other remaining creeps actually being forced to retreat back. Archmage using Scroll of Regeneration as a footman. Easily going to get taken down right there. Perhaps not going after those Water Elementals. Water Elemental still trying to keep a ways away. Uh, well, Dark Ranger now out here on the battlefield looking to finish up what they started moments ago lich is gonna be able to get to level two here i believe as the dark ranger will stay at level one death knight um death knight taking a bit of that experience hmm. death knight lich dark ranger looking to knock on the door of this expansion here arcane vault and um, well protected somewhat by protecting some with this arcane tower as there's a limited surface area more repairs will be needed blade is he gonna offer to repair no he is not building of repair would have been just enough death knight gonna go is he gonna be able to get a death coil off yes he does just in time meanwhile units are still looking to retreat back out here where are all of these units gonna go next perhaps the mountain king can throw down another storm bolt here lich 
has or literally has his eyes sight on that mountain king is the mountain king able to keep his distance away from a, for a little while more damage coming back on through here more damage coming in again we're going to see some storm bolts we are looking at the dark ranger putting in pressure of up more damage going on to these um, riflemen in the back here level two now on the mountain king mountain king down to 289 hit points has to be very careful that negative orb of corruption damage reduction of nine percent so nearly taking full damage from those um, well from there army of archmage paladin and well, now mountain king and rifleman now able to move out through the field meanwhile undead is looking to finish off and get an even larger creep camp advantage 41 supply compared to 72 blade has a 30 supply advantage right now but this is still no guarantee he'll come out ahead as he has an astronomically high number of units 72 right now All right, coming back on through. Lich looking to finish things off here. Are we going to see a Frost Nova across any of those units? No, we are not. Rifleman getting in some easy shots again. Militia now coming in from the far side. Trying to well, create a, a good separation once more. Death Coil trying to save up more units as the Skeletal Minions are looking to back away. Archmage may try and drop another Water Elemental. There is some big damage right there. Mountain King is going to get a Stormbolt off. No, no Stormbolt off. There's a Roar right there. And, all, and suddenly, the Mountain King and Archmage are dealing... 40 upwards of 44 damage as a composed as composed of 37 moments ago Archmage continuing to push back off to the north here. Mountain King looking to line up some good storm bolts. Finds a Crypt Beam. Going to try and finish it off. But Happy's there with the countermeasure being able to destroy magic in, 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 in an instant. And... Well, the, was it Devour Magic in an instant? Death Knight and Soul looking to engage, only sitting at level 3 at this time, but going up against a level 3 and level 2. This Obsidian Statue now making its way back down. Rifleman all across over here. 20 to 32 damage. The roar has come to an end. As well, the Death Knight and the Rifleman using this high ground location to try and prevent any serious attacks from happening. All right. Well, Happy looking to put pressure on these riflemen. Hap, uh, well, Blade does have the high ground advantage. The high ground advantage is incredibly important as any time a low, point, low ground unit tries to attack a high ground unit, there's a chance to miss the target. We're seeing none of that yet so far as, well... Archmage, Mountain King now continuing to move on and about. Mountain King may get to level 3, which could change the game dramatically with that level 2 Thunderclap. All right, Rifleman looking to perhaps um, nip some of these right um, in the bottom here. Perhaps get them to turn around. Mountain King going to get ready to engage here in, at just as well as we're looking at... Well, Crypt Fiends, Obsidian Statues... Well, are they going to get caught out in the open? Yes, they are happy. Perhaps just playing on autopilot right now. Not doing as great of a job as I'd normally expected he would be able to do. Archmage is going to go and scroll the town portal all the way back home. Uh, wait for it. Yes, there he goes. Scrolls the town portals back home and tries to save what is left right there. Expansion. No longer fully saturated. Moving back off to the north, Lich is sitting at, or Death Knight sitting at four, Lich is at three, Dark Ranger is at two, going up against a level three, level three. If the Archmage can get to level four for a level two Brilliant Aura, I would say that Human has the, well, has the greater advantage if he can actually get past this point. Water Elemental in the very far back, not even easily engaging, a waste of 125 mana right there. Um, has perfect targets to try and absorb damage, perfect targets to attack, but did not go for it. All right, workshop getting easily destroyed. All the all of the miners here are down as well, and now undead, unable to finish off this town hall as it does have fortified armor. All right, are we gonna see a scroll of town portal? Yes, we are. There's that scroll of town portal. There's a quick silence as well. Damage is adding back up. Are we gonna see more and more damage get added in? There's a a big potion of healing right there, and now it is gonna burrow, stick its head in the sand, and live out to fight it, its other remaining days. Wow. Archmage, Mountain King, level 3, level 3. Uh, well, we are looking at Rifleman trying to figure out 
And perhaps where are they going to um, go next? Rifleman sitting on two one upgrades. Meanwhile, only one zero upgrades for um, for the undead at this stage. Coming back through off to the north here. Happy's senses at this time is as perfect as any to set up an expansion. Gonna go ahead and pick up the crystal ball. Perhaps try and reveal what's going on over here. Nope, he already knows what's going on here. Perhaps gonna reveal some other location on the map, but I just don't see it yet. All right, pulling back creeps once more. Dark Ranger is at three. Death Knight is at four. Um, Lich is also at three as well. So that's going to be a lot of a lot of damage indeed as a Sasquatch going to get taken down. Mountain King very close to level four. Now could turn back around. Perhaps try to even land a, a Thunderclap as well. And still unable to do exactly that. All right, units moving back and forth, jockeying for position. Destroyer now heading its way over here to the bottom left. Expansions are, well, not running off over here. Um, nope, no expansions players off over here. Right expansions, right both players. Uh, well, it looks as though Blade was trying to take the center expansion, even though he doesn't really have access to it. Meanwhile, well, we're looking at the Gravnik Golem looking to chase after all of these units here. Are we going to perhaps get an ensnare or some sort of engagement? No, just going to end up walking away and getting away fairly easily. Meanwhile, back down to the south. Where is it? No, is it here? I don't see it. All right. Archmage, Priest, Paladin, hanging up or hanging over, heading off to the north here. One Goblin Zeppelin of Happy staying around here as we're going to go into an engagement. Paladin and Knight continuing to fight their way through. We could see the more death, the more units. Are we going to see another death right there? Death Knight now trying to retreat back. Is he going to try and death coil that low hit point Crypt Fiend? He does have a level 2 death coil, so that is going to be a large amount of hit points as now the Dark Ranger taking a little bit of damage. Frost Nova onto a priest. Priest quickly gets blasted uh, into the Arctic Circle. Felt that cold coming along moments ago. All right. Thunderclap coming online, being extremely useful, slowing down so many of those units. Death Knight now being forced to retreat back out as Elder the Giant is also going to be teleported away. All right, we are 18 minutes into this game and still no clear sign or winner as of yet. Rifleman, is it going to spot the, the Goblin Zeppelin? No, it is not. That is a large number of Riflemen. And the Riflemen um, sitting on what one one or sorry, um, two one upgrades. And the Paladin with no Devotion Aura as of yet, only Divine Shield. Archmage now walks into an undead base here. Doesn't sound like the beginning of a bad joke. That's what's happening here. Blade trying to take down the Altar of Darkness, showing 70 over 70 supplied. Blade is seeing that 80 over 84 as the undead army is about to march on in, get that additional bonus regeneration. There's a lot of Devour magic, and that one destroy this. Well, that one able to uh, unable to get back home here. All right, Paladin, Mountain King, Archmage, moving on through level four, level four, level one. Coming down here, we're looking at level four on the Lich, level four on the Death Knight, level three on the Dark Ranger. So in terms of hero levels, we are, well, severely behind for the Paladin since he was late to the party and didn't get a lot of that early experience early on. Coming back on through Archmage, looking to clear things up, perhaps take down some of these skeletal minions. Another two skeletal minions taken out, and are they going to do a potential creep jack here as well? Paladin uh, in that frontline position, Water Elementals, Death Coil, Frost Nova, no staff of Sanctuary, as all those units are looking to engage again. All right, Abominations are also out here onto the battlefield. There's a Storm Bolt onto the Lich. Lich, is he going to be able to make it? Yes, he is. Able to survive and, well, and die another day, as we're still looking to finish off more and more of these units. All right. 
Abomination now looking to retreat back. Death Knight now forced to scroll Town Portal out of here. An uncomfortable spot as the Mountain King, well, low on mana, but still high on hit points. Granite, uh, granite golems and creep camp now getting cleared up. Last refuge, uh, or autumn leaves, excuse me, picking up a, well, is that a useful item? It is a hood of cunning or a helm of valor between the two. Those are some very, very powerful stats, plus 12 agility, up to 37 agility already. A very, very fast hitting um, attack hero. Um, melee hero with plenty of upside. Going to go ahead and try and re-engage here. Scroll of Town Portal coming back down. And here we are. Here we go. Where are they going to teleport off to? Back below the Town Hall. Expansion has about, what, seven minutes? Gavin, thank you. Just wanted to say, man, I respect your streams and cast and your grind. Been a long-time fan for many years. Keep on doing you. Oh, thank you. starting to finally get hot in my house and I like, forgot to turn on the AC so I'm kind of like sweating here trying to figure out this battle. So far Happy and Blade have just been really exchanging blows going back and forth. Um, it feels like um, Happy is just kind of on autopilot. He isn't doing all that much and it, and we may be looking at yeah Happy doing an unsummoning all in a push here. He's looking at 77 over 80 supply already and as long as this and as he should be able to well just mine a, or get a lot of scrolls of healing get the right amount collection of items and finish the job here we are looking at one zero upgrades going up against two one upgrades for those riflemen there are priests here as well but priests are often focused fired very very quickly um, and because they're focused fired so quickly and easily um, they don't tend to survive long, especially going up against Crypt Fiends, who also have, well, a, a high damage and a decent range. Units are now attempting to retreat back once more. Death Knight continuing to wander around here. The in comes the Death Knight here. Death Knight sitting at very close to level 5. Archmage getting ready once more. We are looking at, well, what are we looking at? We are looking at... Um, well, some priest here waiting for a fight to go down. Paladin gets up to level three somehow. Um, was some was that water element? Oh, a water elemental killed something away from all of the action, and that water that kill that little bit of extra experience by the paladin now with level two holy light could be the difference. We do have riflemen with inner fire. That is very big damage indeed. Stormbolt right there. Dark Ranger most likely will be getting up a death coil. Devour magic removing all of that inner fire once more as the destroyers now going into battle here. All right. Death coil coming back around. Priest now trying to retreat back. Mounting or Dark Ranger now getting up to level four. Units are retreating back here. 89 supply. Blade having a major supply advantage. Comes in with a level two thunderclap slowing down much of the undead army. Continuing this fight now. Are we going to see another Thunderclap? Yes, we are. There's another Holy Light. And that well, that's an additional 400 hit points that the Mountain King has because the Paladin had leveled up um, away from all the action. Now, getting up to level 5 now. Mountain King seeing that level 5. Going to perhaps try and retreat. Level 3 Thunderclap. No, level 2 Stormbolt instead. And now level 2 Stormbolt perhaps going to try to go after the Dark Ranger or some of the other heroes. Is going to be able to snipe it down. No, he does not. Mountain King trying to engage here. Archmage is still right there. Still more Holy Light onto the units. And there's a Thunderclap once more. Stormbolt, Thunderclap onto the Lich. Lich now currently out of commission for a little bit of time. Death Knight now trying to push back the other way. Lich continuing that pressure as the Mountain King low on mana. Doesn't have enough mana here. Mountain King is actually higher up in level than the Archmage as the Archmage now goes up to level 5 and that is the game. Um, ha happy losing to Blade in that matchup right there. Blade just building a much, much larger army and was able to get enough out of that expansion. Even though Happy did try and, excuse me, unsummon a lot of buildings um, to do one final push, he was just unable to do so and in the end falls a little bit short. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Let me know what you guys think of, of that game in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.